Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim. Today we're gonna check our bees here in the Ridge Apiary for the first time since winter. Uh, we've only got two coming out of winter here. We've got our number two hive, which was uh, one of our original hives. It was doing fairly well. And then over here we have adrenaline hive, which was a combination of two swarm catches we did. That was biker bees and SRT bees. Oh, there's the queen guys. There's the queen right there. See her right there? Queen is right there. She's a nice, big, beautiful queen. That is awesome. Well, it's a good sign. We've got bees flying out here. We've got wax cappings uh, down below our hive. So we're gonna get in here. We're gonna get the mouse guards off. We'll get the moisture boards off. It's time to start feeding them as well. You know, they're, um, the queen is starting to lay, lay, lay here in February. And um, that means they need a lot of food because there's not a lot of flowers, not, not a lot of nectar out there for them. So we're gonna go ahead and do a pre-season feed give them the stores because that's where a lot of bees actually starve is after the winter they made it through the winter with what stores were inside and then all of a sudden they start to population starts to grow 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 and the flowers aren't there yet so we're going to feed them we're going to inspect both of them see how they're doing and uh move on from there we're going to start off with adrenaline hive here now some of you may recall they were real small going into winter and uh, we were feeding them, they, they were taking the feed. And then we had the polar vortex, that Arctic blast that came down. And um, we did check these, we just took the lid off uh, during one of those videos. I don't know if you've seen it, so you already know uh, kind of what's going on with our adrenaline hive. So let's get inside here and uh, see what we got. All right, got the moisture board. See how the moisture board collects moisture. This is a beetle barn, collects small high beetles. Here's our sugar patty, and I do not see any bees all up around here, so that's not a good sign, not a good sign at all. And no bees, no, well, no, no live bees, guys. It is not a good sight. Come over here and see what you got. So we can see we've got a lot of dead bees here. This is our Swiffer sheets. Swiffer sheets, uh, they capture uh, small hive beetles as well. These are our beetle blasters. They collect, uh, all those little black small hive beetles in there in oil so we'll throw that one away and get a get some more yeah yeah see there's a lot of small hive beetles in there not 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 a jet not a lot so uh i can actually reuse it you reuse this one and what we've got guys is lots of dead bees and you can see here all these dead bees they are all stuck inside stuck inside their uh, their cells here this is a sad sad sight dead bees lots and lots of dead bees so what we're going to do is going to have to uh, reclaim all this all of this um drawn comb this is all reusable drawn comb see this is a um, a foundationless see there's no foundation in there this is all wax 100 percent wax so we'll get all this cleaned up Get all these bees out here, and we'll be able to reuse this if we catch a swarm. We do a split, we'll already have drawn comb. But you see, there was lots and lots of bees here, and they just—I think what happened was um, they didn't—they didn't have any stores inside their uh, colony here, and you know they're having to go to the top for the uh, for the um, winter patty, and uh, because of that, and it got so so cold that they couldn't get to it and they all starved. I don't think they froze to death. I think they starved because I don't see any, any honey around them. And the way their faces are all down inside the, uh, the, 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 the comb there, I believe they starved. And what's bad is they starved with sugar only about 10 inches away. Guys, we can actually see here, uh, at some point they created a queen cell and a queen emerged and that was not there um, whenever we went into winter and well actually just late 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 fall so at some point they had requeened yes there was no honey on any of these um, frames here but look at all these bees we have down here guys so you know this was there there was a lot of bees a lot of bees they just starved and really when you see something like that I know the polar vortex was an extreme for West Tennessee, minus one degree. We had below freezing for four or five days. And I had sugar on them, 
but I should have gave them more stores inside the colony and they would have lived. So this is a beekeeper fault. This is not blame this on, you know, mother nature or act of God. I really should have had more honey stores in the colony and not just rely on the winter feeding. So this is my fault. This is not, this is not a uh, Varroa mite. This is not uh, any type of disease. This is beekeeper did not feed his bees. I'm told you can keep these bees and use them as swarm trap. Well, you know, put some of them in your swarm traps and the smell of bees will bring bees. So we're gonna try that as well. I'm gonna get all of these frames and um, get all of this put in the freezer. Make sure we kill any type of larva, any insect that's in them. We'll get them frozen and we'll have them ready for either a split or swarm catch. Y'all can see these dead bees. Lots and lots of dead bees. Now there is a queen in here somewhere. She's in there, but uh, unfortunately they didn't make it. Lots and lots of dead bees. Go ahead and get the mouse guard off this one. We'll collect these bees, put them in a bucket, and we'll take all the rest of this wood hive body here, take it in the barn, get it out of the elements until we're ready to either put a swarm catch in here or uh, do a split. So, got that off. Let's get all these bees, let's get all them collected here, see if I can get them inside the bucket, okay, they're useful, everything's useful, lots of bees. this frozen up kill any uh, bugs or parasites and then we'll be ready to uh, start over go you can see all these bees in there moving over to our hive number two here it is starting to rain on us so I gotta be uh, get this done quick you, wet bees are dead bees uh, it's not the cold that kills the bees it's the wetness so we want to go ahead and um, get our mouse guard off there We'll get our medium entrance reducer on here. Get that pushed up inside there. That'll help the robbing once we start feeding this. Now let's get inside here and see what we've got as far as our bees are concerned. I, I smell bees, that's a good thing. Get our moisture board off here. Oh guys, we got bees. That's what I'm talking about. We still have some of the winter patty up here. They've been eating on it, but we got bees. I'm gonna get rid of our moisture board here so we can get them off of there. Let's see how many bees we got in here. I'm super excited to get in and see what we've got as far as bees. Oh yes. When you open up a colony from the winter, this is what you wanna see. This is nice. I got one, two, three, four frames of bees. It's starting to rain. They're not happy right now. So let's go ahead and get this done quickly. Check our beetle blaster here. Not a lot of beetles running around. Still looks good. I'll put some more oil in that. Probably should have had my smoker here. It's a warm day. I don't think there's any pro probably about it. We'll replace that one. All right, got our Swiffer sheets. Not a lot of live beetles. We'll replace those. Let's check our bees. Let's uh. Get one of the outside combs off first. That way we don't roll the queen. Okay, this is a foundationless frame. We've got bees on it. They've drawn it out. That's good. All right, here's a foundation frame that they've just been working on. And we've got, we've got bees, we've got nectar. Guys, there's nectar in there, that's awesome. I don't see any brood or eggs yet, but this is drawn comb. Fresh nectar in there. That is really good. There's one side of the frame with bees on it. Here we go. We got another side of the frame with bees on it. I don't see, I see some nectar. I see nectar there. I got nectar here. I don't see any brood yet. Lots of bees though. Let me know if y'all see the queen. Okay, there's, there's some dead bees in the bottom from the winter time, but 
you know, they'll start cleaning those up. They have undertaker bees that take care of that. Another, oh, there's a the queen, guys. There's the queen right there. See her right there? Queen is right there. She's a nice, big, beautiful queen. That is awesome. Good job. Good job, guys. Queen is doing well. So she's gonna be laying her, oops. Yeah, she's still there. I didn't knock her off. All right, so that's good. I'm just gonna leave that one right there. I know she's in that one. Of course, that was the center frame and that's where I expected her. Go one more over. All right, so she should be laying eggs soon. We got nectar in there. I'm not gonna go any further over. I don't expect to see anything. She's on this frame right there. Move this over. Get these put back in and we are happy. Happy, happy, happy with one hive. Kind of sad with our, our swarm catches there, but that's, that's part of beekeeping. I did that. I'll learn from it. I'll be better with it. We've got our beetle trap oil. We're gonna set this right off to the side here to capture those, those nasty beetles, small hive beetles. Get that poured right in there. And that bee, the beetles go in there and they get trapped. That's what happens. Okay. See, this is another good one there. Get that one right here. Get a little more oil in this one. There we go. Got that done. So now, I'm going to get our cover back on. Get our beetle barn here. Open this bad boy up. I'm gonna get a little, a little more of the magic small hive beetle killer juice here. There we go. Put that closed back down. The bees can't get into it. Set that right there. Now guys, now we need to get our sugar water on. So let me go get that. I got it pre prepared up a one-to-one. -one. Got a couple gallons prepared. Let me go get that right now. We got a one-to-one -one sugar water mixture. Set that right on top of the inner cover there. Get these guys to feeding. They're gonna be happy, happy, happy with that. All right, get the cover on before any bees get inside our sugar mixture now to limit robbing i'm also gonna close up these this entrance here a little bit that way too many bees can't get in and out of there but the air can still flow give them some ventilation ventilation is good keeps them dry and cool as we're coming into the wet spring months there all righty hope you enjoyed us doing our first post winter inspection of our bees here in the apiary i know we lost adrenaline hive it's sad but we're coming out with a strong colony we saw the queen there's at least four or five uh full frames of bees in there uh we've got sugar water on them I uh, didn't see any capped brood yet, but we will be seeing it soon. That queen looked very, very good. Um, so I'm very, very excited about this spring. I, I think we're going to catch a swarm. I'll be setting out some new swarm traps this year. And uh, if this guy does really, really well, we can split it and go ahead and get that uh, number one hive going again. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to Ridge Life. Hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And until next time, as always, have a blessed day and go Ridge Life.